here's a simple example of a product that we'll be building uh, just for the sake of the exercise. So let's uh, put here the text box. And let's imagine that the product that we're building is um, a very cool, unique bras. Bodies have different uh, waist sizes and uh, the breasts have different shapes, not only sizes, but, but shapes are different. And so that's what we're trying to, you know, solve. Um, so let's say who is going to be our target audience? Uh, well, definitely women, um, plus size women, I guess that's the, the title. Um, and then we'll say um, women um, who suffer from back pains. Now there's, we can go very, very niche and very narrow. Um, or we can be a little bit more open, but let's say at this point um, in our first cycle, we decide we just want to solve a problem for uh, women with plus, plus size with uh, bigger breasts and then they will have, you know, double D's and, and up and let's say the waist could be very different thanks to nature. You can have a small waist and big breasts oftentimes you do it surgically uh, but now a lot of these bras are made if you're if you have big breasts you usually have um, a bigger waist as well and here we want to really specify um, that a waist could be you know big or small so now there's another niche um, women with um, plastic surgery. All right, um, and we decided they might have small waist and big breasts. So uh, we can keep uh, going through different types of customers that we um, want to work with, uh, but let's pause on that. We have identified three different types. That's uh, enough to uh, move on for the sake of the exercise. So now um, we need to describe these women. So pretty much you take a woman uh, with a plus size bras and women with plus size bras but smaller waist. And so for both of them, both, both of these customers, they have uh, problems with back pain oftentimes and then Based on, on the type of a customer, you either will have to make um, larger waist or smaller waist. Um, and that's important for the product uh, building, right? So uh, what are their needs? The needs, um, maybe the need is to um, have more flexible, uh, easy to, uh, you know, button up a bra or whatever. Um, easy access to um, maybe the fabric. Um, you know how there's a lot of times you have to put in these these metal um, frames um, under your uh, breasts. Uh, those are not always comfortable and sometimes they go through the material not pleasant. Um, so let's say um, durable and um, pleasant uh, materials. Maybe they need to be some sort of elastic and um, whatever the material is, that's in the number three, durable and pleasant material to wear. So you'd have to think about that. Um, and then the next thing that we wanna do is Okay, uh, there's a few more needs that you might uh, want to describe, and I'll just add the uh, waist. Uh, all right, and maybe you want to throw in, okay, well, it's uh, COVID, maybe it's online, uh, maybe you want to be able to, don't want to, maybe they don't want to shop uh, for these kind of things. So, okay. They might have problems finding a bra online that would actually fit them or something like that. And then the next thing is, 
we're breaking down what does the product do um, for that. So a lot of times when we come up with ideas, we think about the, the product itself and we glorify the product. We come up with these awesome features, but we don't even think about the customer. Does the customer need that? What kind of problem are we trying to solve? And so the thing is you can be creating these awesome features, these awesome uh, tools, but if you don't keep your customer in mind, uh, you're building something that probably won't be used. All right, so let's say product. The product, the product uses the material from Patagonia. I know I'm coming up with stuff, but just for funsies here. So um, very easy to clean. Okay, I'm gonna come up with a funny one, but it's let's say it locks and un locks and unlocks. With, uh, with the help of fingerprint. Basically, you need to kind of scan your, your, your finger to be able to unlock your uh, bra, which would be really cool. All right, then you have a few more things that you're gonna come up with. Maybe the product includes an application that is secure, works on decentralized internet. The customer is able to um, scan the chest and waist with the help of yeah. And uh, draws of the, the right size or the customer size will be offered to show to the user. So basically, uh, because it's uh, super secure, decentralized, it you'd be able to not even go outside, but scan your chest and you'd have all the choices for your own shape um, and size um, and the list of bras will pop up and then you can uh, go ahead and pick the ones that actually you like but you don't have to worry whether they're gonna fit right or not things like that um, and of course I'm coming up with stuff so mind that, uh, that I am being a little bit silly. All right, and then now we came up with that. We're solving these problems of these uh, customers and then the business value. The business value is decrease the amount of time for shopping. Um, you can throw in, in the product, you can also throw in that there is a return policy and all those kind of uh, pluses. Um, you can also say, so for the business value, other than the decrease of uh, the amount of time for shopping, you will say um, maybe it is a higher end bras, maybe they're cheaper, maybe they're more expensive, whatever it is, um, increase the, um, increase the, Customer satisfaction of the target audience by blah blah percent, whatever it is, right? Let's say percent. So things of that nature will come up in the business value. Um, there's a lot of actually business um, value points uh, in here. Um, and then we were actually going up to the vision itself. And once you work out through these four different columns, and you, you would probably want to go through them a few times um, and not in one day so that you have the time to kind of refresh in your mind and, and think through that. 
but later on you will be able to say the vision of the company or of the product is uh, we enable women to shop in a better and in a safer and um, more customized way by offering an application that only um, offers products of her size and preference. Like maybe um, when you before you even start shopping and scan your your uh, chests, maybe you already say, I usually like these types of material, maybe I only like silk or something like that. I only like these colors. I only like these types of uh, shapes and forms um, on different uh, neck uh, cuts. Like it could be a V-neck, it could be something else. Um, so these kind of things could be in your vision uh, and you can come up with something more inspiring. Uh, but this is just an example of what a product vision should be like and it should be backed up by the work that you've done um, and the, backed up by the customer type and, and things of that nature.